thank you, Mr. Chairman, and um, welcome and congratulations on your nomination. I think we had a chance to discuss uh, the state of Washington and how rapidly it is growing, how fact that being a gateway to the Pacific has made our transportation system one of the key cornerstones of our economic uh, success, that our state and local governments are making strategic investments. In uh, 2014, Washington businesses, though, lost $800 million because of congestion. And uh, we have very challenged infrastructure issues. For the third consecutive year, SeaTac is the fastest growing airport in the United States. In the last three years, the passenger volume has increased by 32%. Railroads are moving over 105 million tons of freight each year. Sound Transit is the fastest growing light rail service in the country. The Northwest Seaport Alliance, the largest cargo center, and um, our GDP in the state grew by 3% um, compared to the nation as a whole, which was 25 and Washington employment grew 3.5%, the fastest in the nation, adding 109,000 jobs in 2016. So we have growth, we have an economic engine, but we desperately, 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 desperately need the infrastructure investment. So I listened to your words very carefully as you've uh, phrased out ways in which to get that infrastructure investment. I'm all for creativity. I would say that our last transportation bill stretched us to the limits. There's no more SPRO dollars to get for infrastructure investment. And so it is very important that we move forward. So I just have a couple of questions. You can just answer yes or no. They're not, it's not trick yes or no questions. It's just more just trying to get a sense of what you uh, will prioritize as far as uh, funding. So do you uh, support uh, the legislation that this committee passed uh, that was implemented, the Freight Act, and funding fast lane grant programs to move freight more cost effectively through the United States and continuing to fund that program? In concept, of course, we want to make sure that freight is moved efficiently. It adds to the productivity of our country. It's good for the economy. As for the second part of your question, I'm not quite sure yet because I've not been briefed on what the current situation is. But if confirmed, I'll be more than glad to do that. OK. When it comes to um, the FAA, my colleague mentioned this, so I just want to be clear. Do you support coming up with additional funding, however it, however it works out? You do support in a, in a new infrastructure investment in our airports. We need more resources to build, repair, refurbish our infrastructure, including those um, that relate to the aviation sector, yes. Okay. Um, I mentioned Sound Transit, one of the fastest growing mm -hmm. commuter systems in the country. There are projects that are already in the pipeline. Do you support continuation of those projects? And uh, you mentioned creativity. One of the things that they've been able to use is the master credit agreements so that they can get more affordable loan rates. Are those the kinds of programs you would support for Sound Transit? At this point, uh, if I'm confirmed, I need to take a look at those projects. There are many projects that are on the books, and there are different reasons why they are, some are faster, some are slower, so I need to take a look at what is happening with each of those projects. Okay, I'd like to follow up with you if I could on that in, in, in writing. Of course. And see if we can get an answer to that. And then, uh, when you and I visited, I mentioned this issue of the volume of crude by rail going through the state of Washington. Uh, extraordinary growth rates of uh, trains that have every city in my state concerned about the volatility mm -hmm. of this product. Department of Energy and DOT are working on an analysis of the volatility of that product. Uh, will you continue to support that research? You and I have talked this talked about this at length. The prospect of having these products go through urban areas is of great concern. But again, until I'm confirmed and I have an opportunity, to be briefed on all of these, it would be premature for me to say anything at this point. Okay. <laughs> but I will work with you on this. Well, I, I definitely came here um, very interested in your nomination and very enthusiastic about the prospects of a former cabinet member moving over to focus on something that has been very, uh, if you will, administrations sometime choosing someone of the opposite party just because of the bipartisan nature of transportation and its ability. So, I would, I would hope you could look at some of these and give, and give me a more specific answer. I'm not trying to box you in as much as the main debate 
for my uh, state right now is are we going to fund infrastructure investment? And so we need to know that you're going to step up and say yes to that and work creatively with us to find those solutions. The way you have just phrased the question, absolutely. Okay. Yes. But the specifics you have. The spec yeah, I, I do need to, once, if I'm confirmed, I do need to take a look at the specifics. Okay, I'm gonna but send you a few more in writing. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Chair. you. Thank you, Senator Cantwell, Senator Blunt.